the book of Proverbs, The Peril of Adultery, Proverbs 5, 1 through 23. Introduction. 1. Earlier in his discourses on wisdom, Solomon warned of being delivered from an immoral woman. A. The seductress who flatters with her words, Proverbs 2.16. B. Who forsakes her husband and forgets her covenant with God, Proverbs 2.17. C. Whose home and paths lead to death, Proverbs 2.18 and 19. 2. Similar warnings are repeated in these discourses of Solomon. A. In chapters 5, 6, and 7. B. Such repetition implies that the danger is great. C. It was a serious problem in Solomon's day, certainly no less today. In chapter 5, we read of the peril of adultery, beginning with a call to pay attention, Proverbs 5, 1 and 2. We are warned about the promise of adultery. A. The false promise. 1. It sounds and feels good at first. Proverbs 5, 3. 2. For such enticement involves flattery. Proverbs 2, 16, 6, 24, and 7, 21. 3. And forbidden fruit is always tempting. Genesis 3, 6. Adultery promises much. But what does it deliver? B. The real promise. 1. The end of adultery is sharp bitterness. Proverbs 5, 4. 2. The real promise is death followed by condemnation. Proverbs 5, 5 and Hebrews 13, 4. 3. Thus the ways of adultery are unstable, unknowable. Proverbs 5, 6. Adultery delivers but not what it promises. To appreciate what adultery really delivers, we are next told of the price of adultery. A. It costs your wealth. 1. Solomon pleads with his children to stay away from the immoral woman. Proverbs 5, 7 and 8. 2. His first reason? Lest you give your honor to others. Proverbs 5, 9a. 3. He reiterates lest aliens be filled with your wealth and your labors go to the house of the foreigner. Proverbs 5.10 Alimony and child support can eat away at your finances. B. It costs your physical health. 1. Solomon's second reason and your years to the cruel one. Proverbs 5.9b 2. He adds and you mourn at last when your flesh and body are consumed. Proverbs 5.11. C. It costs your mental health. 1. You will be filled with self-recrimination. How I hated instruction and my heart despised correction. I have not obeyed the voice of my teachers, nor inclined my ear to those who instructed me. Proverbs 5.12 and 13. 2. As you recall the violent effects of divorce on your spouse and on your children who will likely suffer the worst, you will berate your stupidity. Malachi 2.16 Your conscience can eat away at your peace of mind. D. It costs your reputation. 1. As suggested by these words, I was on the verge of total ruin in the midst of the assembly and congregation. Proverbs 5.14 2. People do not take lightly the sin of adultery. Proverbs 6, 27 through 35. 3. Can a person be trusted who would lie to their spouse? Your unfaithfulness can eat away at your reputation. Adultery destroys one's wealth, body, soul, and reputation. Forgiveness is possible, 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 11. But many effects of adultery continue throughout one's life. Much better, therefore, to take to heart the prevention of adultery. A. Love your spouse. 1. Rejoice with the wife of your youth. Be enraptured by her love. Proverbs 5, 15 through 19 and Ecclesiastics 9. A. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church. Ephesians 5, 25 and 28. B. Wives, learn to love your husbands. 
Titus 2, 3 through 4. 2. Why be enraptured by an adulteress, adulterer and seductress, seducer? Proverbs 5, 20. A. One's true character is revealed by their immorality. B. If they commit adultery with you, they are likely to commit adultery against you. Enraptured love is commanded, which means it can be learned and relearned. B. Love your Lord. 1. The Lord is omniscient, and sins will have their effect. Proverbs 5, 21 through 23. A. He sees all. Proverbs 15, 3. B. God will judge fornicators and adulterers. Hebrews 13, 4. C. When one sins against the Lord, their sins will be exposed. Numbers 32, 23. 2. How much better to love the Lord and be loyal to Him? A. He looks for those loyal to Him. 2 Chronicles 16.9 and Matthew 22.37 B. Joseph's devotion to God prevented him from being tempted. Genesis 39.7-10 C. The Lord blessed Joseph because of his faithfulness. Genesis 39.21 and 41.50-52 those who love the Lord foremost love their spouses forever. Conclusion 1. The promise of adultery is deceptive. A. It promises pleasure. B. It really promises death and condemnation. 2. The price of adultery is terrible. A. Which too many learn by sad experience. B. Which all can avoid by heeding God's word. 3. The prevention of adultery is possible when our love is in the right place. A. Loving the Lord with all your heart. B. Loving our spouses with God's blessing. Heed the wisdom of Solomon regarding the peril of adultery, and we will not destroy our lives with misdirected affection. This ends our study on the peril of adultery.